viewers, thank you for remaining faithful with New Jerusalem TV. We believe whatever the Spirit of God has in store, you are also included for His plan of today. Yes, thank you. God bless you. Amen. I'm here for a message that will guide us. I'm also included. You are mostly in, in, included in it. Message title will be this way. No age, but just passed the test. That's my message title. No age, but just passed the test. Means there's an exam set before us by the Holy Spirit. No age. You know, I mean, of age now, someone says he is 20 years old, her age is that, his age is this. So I'm talking no age, but just passed the test. Let's go in the book of First Timothy. First Timothy chapter 3. I'll take from verse 8 to 13. In your own precious time, you will take from verse 1 to the end. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 8. In the same way, deacons are to be worthy of respect, sincere, not indulging in much wine. And not pursuing dishonest gain. Nine. They must keep hold of the deep truth of the faith with a clear conscience. Ten. They must first be tested. And, and then, if there is nothing against them, let them serve as deacons. 11. In the same way, the women are to be worthy of respect. Not what? Malicious talkers, but temperate and trustworthy in everything. Means women place is also there. 12. A deacon must be faithful to his wife and must manage his children and his household well. 13. Those who have served well gain an excellent standing and great assurance in their faith in Christ Jesus. <laughs> that is the position of the church heavenly institution the church of God this is heavenly institution it's not Benjamin property it is not our property but our father has we will pass the structure will remain that represents Jesus for those who worship him in spirit and in truth today people are entitled in churches not because of their attitude, but because of their resources. Not because of their attitude, not because of their behavior in society, and also in the house of God, but because they had money. You go in the churches, someone that is not even worthy to be called a deacon, or a deaconess, it's not all about money, but it's all about the image of Jesus. And many of us may be asking such questions in your heart. That why for these numbers of years, there is no such. Jesus is not looking for those who can present themselves. But he's looking for attitude. Because no matter how you appear before people, People will investigate your life. There are some people investigating your life without you knowing. There are some people 
investigating your life without you knowing. And the house of God is the most sensitive organization in this world. Because it is the representative of Jesus that they are worshipping. That they are there. The house of God is the most sensitive organization. Means that those who are there in place of respect and honor, they should have that image of Jesus. And you must also start from the pastor. You must also start from the shepherd. Because now like this, physically I'm the shepherd for you. You are the sheep. Now that this I'm the shepherd. All of us, Jesus is our shepherd. He is the greatest shepherd. That will live forever. But physically like this, because I'm not sure that if there's something worrying you, and then you know Benjamin, I'm not sure you must run to Benjamin. Because you know that he may have something that he will confess to you may change the course of your situation. A place of responsibility in heavenly organization, we call it the house of God. Those are the criteria that the Holy Spirit is giving to us through Timothy. And Timothy learned that through, through Paul. There is one thing that we Cameroonians which have observed we have not yet understand. You are not supporting the house of God and depend back to that very house. There is one thing we Cameroonians have not bring it out for this journey we have just embarked on. You being part and parcel to support the body of Christ you should be happy that if the minister of God is taking care of the less privileged, you are the blessed one. You are not expecting it back from that house. You are already blessed spiritually. You will not see the manifestation for whatever you are doing out there. If things are not going the way it should be for you out there, means you and Jesus, you are not in line. I always use myself as a reference that Man Zion Church of All Nations did not start like this. If we are at this position, it means that yesterday, Benjamin and a few people that were around him did well. And the Holy Spirit warned me in the year 2012, 2012 that Benjamin, be careful with the issue of money. Don't manufacture any strange cheer in my house. Don't make any strange color of cheer as a seat of honor to anyone. You and your people before me, we are equal. You also, Benjamin, don't also make a mini parlor in my house. You know in mini parlor where I can preach here for 30 minutes I will run down go and drink for energy drink or water. It's mini parlor. <laughs> then you are drinking, eating there with your, your family, middle family. Then what about those who are sitting there? There are some contrary activity happening in the house of God. But you, the master, you sit quiet. It's the same thing for our leaders in this, in this continent, in Africa. You know they are doing bad. But some of you now you are pointing your hand on churches. Is it a crime for you to worship God? Does it mean people in the past were not worshiping Jesus? The problem is who will start it? What has church done? Is it a crime? But in the past, other churches everywhere was quiet because they know that the movement of the Holy Ghost 
is going very fast all over the way. And Satan also is fighting. That's why you see, for the past 18 years, I cannot boast for what we have done. You also cannot boast for what we have also done. Because all boasting in his kingdom excluded. Do yours carry your own responsibility as a Christian soldier in Christ Jesus. Sacrificing in your father has it is it is not a guarantee for you to have a seat of honor. Who is a deacon? Most often, they are the one even having those fetish things in their cupboard. But they take the seat of honor. Because maybe the pastor or the minister may be blind. For you to manage God's affair, to have a seat of honor, you need thorough reformation of heart. You should not be someone that you are a phone, they have two SIM cards. Are you getting me? You should not be someone that you, because you are a phone, but you have two SIM cards. Here in the presence of God, you have another company SIM card. Outside there, you have a different SIM card, another company. You are a two nature for one. They see the holiness in you. In his presence. But then when they go out there, they see a different, a contrary spirit manifesting in your life outside there. The image of Jesus, we don't manifest it in his presence. The image of Jesus, we manifest it when we are in the public. You go for sober, soberness. Things that will not bring glory for your creator. The one you, you say it is you are a weakness. If thing that you want to do does not bring glory in his name, you are not a participant for it. If you will not bring glory for Jesus, you will not engage. You deny it categorically. So, there are some criterias. You may think that it's because of me, Benjamin. No! I'm not the one that select deacon and deaconess in the house of God, the Holy Spirit. And when you are selected, you will know that truly I'm selected by the Holy Spirit, not by this young man. You cannot be far. I'll be using this, this same, this same, uh, this same, eh? this same example for time and again. Most ninety-nine percent of those who are who stand like presidential candidate in any association, in any country, he only have his entourage. He asked them. They will discuss in the secret, have their agreement in the secret, then when they come outside, they will, they will say the same thing. And the moment the person finally grabs the seed of presidency in any association. That is why any most constitution will give the president right to build his cabinet. Deacons, deaconess are not far from the character of the pastor. Deacon, deaconess are not far from the character of a priest, of a prophet, evangelist, an apostle. They have similar character. I can be here and there's a station in Yaoundé. I will say, ah, Deaconess, Deaconess Esther, you and Deacon this, please assist me there. Because of your, your seat of responsibility. Oh, no. Because you are not building only the outside, but you are building the inside. Your hands will become a healing hand to others. How many of us? You only think only on Thursday. 
at 4 p.m. to come. And even that 4 p.m., you come at 7.30 in the evening. You calculate. There is everything in the Bible. Joshua stood the test of time. He faced the Jericho war. But many of us, we don't see praises and worship as something important for our Christian growth. You calculate the moment the man of God will enter before you come. The floor. In the past, I was seeing people coming here to, to clean this house down there, the wood site. About more than 50 people. But now you can't bet some fewer people because you have been waiting for that miracle in your life. You have not seen. You are back up at the biggest amount of time. There are some criteria that the Holy Spirit wants to see in our life. I'm also included. My desire is to carry this gospel to other nations and other continents. But it will not just happen like that. He must build character in me. And I must be a participant to build that character before I can go somewhere. So you just think and feel that you can just... I've been denying money. Me, Benjamin, I've been denying money. They call to give you, I deny. But I'm, I'm desperate, I'm hunger for money. But they will call me and give, I'll say no, thank you, sir. Thank you, madam. Today, money has influenced thousand men of God. Because you can buy the speaker, you they call you tomorrow assistant pastor. Because you, you can pay the man of God has, they call you deaconess, deaconess bridge, Bridget. Are we looking for external strength or for spiritual strength? That deaconess bridge that you are giving her post of deaconess, you cannot send her to my to go and pray for someone there. You cannot. Because they have used money to deceive all of us want to be at the brim, at the hem of it. This is what Timothy is teaching us today. I'm also included. All of us. I was warned in 2012 that don't make any seat to call any person a special name. I know my parents here, those who have taken this ministry in heart and they are doing their responsibility as a father and a mother. They must not call you name. That way you probably say, ah, the conjecture is passing. Then you begin to, what about if they are calling you the deacon? Or the deaconess, and then tomorrow you appear before Jesus. He says he does not know you. What a, what a frustration. That your pastor has hey you. Ha <laughs> deacon, you only pour money. You pour money. Deacon, you pour money. Then tomorrow you appear before Jesus. He says, Sir, Ma, I don't know me. You. Your pastor knew you, but me, I don't know you. And even your pastor, I don't even know him. Please, let each and everyone work his salvation individually. Salvation is a gift from the Holy Spirit and it comes by your ability towards Jesus. If you are focusing to grab that name because that's why you want to, you, you want to support God's work because you need name. You have failed. Name comes naturally because of your responsibility. Why are you calling me prophet? Why are you calling me pastor? Why? Because you have seen something that has resemblance as those of old. You say, ah, Benjamin is a prophet. Benjamin is an evangelist. Benjamin is a pastor. Benjamin is an apostle. Seat of honor does not come because you were on that spring. You know spring now? Yes, they deal between spring and marathon. Seat of honor comes when you are on that marathon. You need to face the circumstances of life before you have that seat of honor. You also need to do what? In the body of Christ, let me tell you something eh? There are some people in this church that 
Some of you, you point in that. Na papa i papa that. Na Benjamin i mami that. Then you are excluding yourself. Have you ever drawn yourself closer to that papa? Or to that mommy and ask her or him that how did you do before you are so close to that man? Have you ever asked them? They don't give me a million, but I know they are responsible in spirit. I don't force myself on people and don't force yourself in me. Let us do our own. Then we will meet at the middle. Go to other churches, you will see it there. They will push the holy church, this chair behind. Put different types of, of set chair here. You begin to see their name there on their, chest, on their chest. But if they tell you what is happening behind, you will regret about the Christianity. Some of us that claim that we are followers of Jesus, we are a disgrace of the Christendom. You go to a party, you're the one carrying crate on your head. You're the one serving it to people. Which image are you showing to people? We need to be different in society. We should not allow manipulators to manipulate us. If you are in the middle of them, show that you, are a, you have the body of Christ in you. They should insult you, even in your family house. They say you should buy a shabby. I know buy a shabby for that. I will buy only for married. But some of you, you have a tie, you have clothes for debt. But if your friend has married, you will not buy it because you are envy. If Benjamin will have been a strange man from a different nation, I know you will have rallied before me. But because you know me, it is your, your son, he is a Cameroonian. You cannot do. That's why you see the Spirit of God is giving us the message that no age but just do what? Just do what? No age. But just pass the test. That's what he's confessing. For what Timothy is giving to us here. That in the same way deacons are to be worthy of respect. Not only in the house of God, but outside the society. When you see that father pass, you see that mother pass, you say, ah, oh God. That is, that is Benjamin duplicate. That is that pastor duplicate. Because in the past, deacon were assisting ministers of God. They were one accord in the spirit. They were also praying for others. They were also talking, counseling. But today, some of us, you can say, father, that some of us use the language that builds you over nothing. You say, I can't. You cannot give what you don't have. If your own home is not set to, you cannot say to someone else's home. <laughs> if you cannot cancel yourself, you cannot cancel someone because it is what you have that you give. Jesus have it all. That's why he can give to us. Because people are watching us now. Eh? Now in Kumba, they are watching us now in this meme. There are some of you that you carry your Bible every day you are going to church. Your neighbors does not even have appetite to worship God. Your neighbor, your friend, are you getting me? Does not even know what have appetite because of your attitude around in the around the compound, the quarter. If this one were no say, it's, it's so strong for God. If she can behave this way, you see, see, see my man, better man no go me here because. A follower of Jesus, you have changed to change others. You are safe to save others. You are blessed to bless others. From there, those who are around you, they will change because of you. 
some of your friends have been accusing you. But I've, I've seen you in that in, on that channel now, New Jerusalem TV. The way that young guy is vibrating, the way he's ministering in the word of God is very interesting. But what I'm seeing you doing here is contrary for what he preaches there. And you are, you are worshiping in that place. It's frustrating. When you hear someone confess to you like that, know that you, are, you have already become firewood for her. Because it is the people around you who tell you who you are. It's the people around you who tell you who you are. You don't have the right to confess that this is what I am. So you have, you need respect. Not only in his presence. Stop. We should not focus in of you busy your body in the presence of God. It is outside there. The soberness, the calmness, your approach, the way you do things. You do things that glorify Jesus in your life. From there, you have natural natural name called deacon or deaconess. When they say we need this this lamb, do we need this lamb here in church? After the service is over, you call the coordinator and say, "I wish to carry responsibility in this place. I want to purchase this bulb." Do you know one thing? Do you know what you have done there? Do you know what you have done? The one thing that you have done that is so interesting is what? You want to have this lamb not for any interest. But if you wonder they should give you that seat before you do it, you are wasting your time. That pastor, if you go to any ministry and that pastor is seeing you in that way, begin to question where you are going. My best moment for the past 18 years in the Christian race is when you are carrying Jesus' responsibility without me informing you. When you do it, it means that you have peace in heart before you carry the assignment. I will be happy. If I call you and I inform you about it, I will feel ashamed. And I will take the blessing back from you. Because I've already informed you. So it is very important for us to be very sensitive in the presence of God. This church, this house is not my house. There are some ministers of God, you know them. They look for their own comfort zone before they think about how they can be the body of Christ. You know them and you have been, you have been participant of them in the past. But here in Manzion, the Spirit of God says, glorify me then you will also be glorified. You need to ask questions every day as you are living here. Is there any leakage? Is there any loophole? Where do you need my sister? I want to participate here. We can stand to criticize others but you have never done anything good in your own life. Some are standing, pointing finger on their leaders. Our leader is bad. Our government is bad. Who is that government? It is the made that government. What have you done to change the bad you have seen? What have you done? After nine years, everybody will go home. It is it concerns Benjamin. It is our responsibility after the service of each day. We gather here Thursday and Sunday. Every, any other day. I don't want to draw you closer to me and begin to deceive you to give you title that you are assistant prophet. Because I've seen money in your account. Because I need to save. I want, I want to, I need to divide your money, your salary. No. Carry Jesus' responsibility because it's our due responsibility to do. What is deacon? It's just title. Everybody can entitle himself like prophet, pastor, this. It is not the name, but the works you do. Not the name, but the what? The works you do or you do. They must keep hold, nine, hold of the deep truth of the faith with a clear conscience. Not murmuring, not complaining, not backbite. With their deep, clear conscience, 
they must keep it. They must be in that standard. <laughs> Amen? Deacon and deaconess can frustrate a ministry and can carry up a ministry. So, the Spirit of God warned me that if you only give them seed, the ministry will be frustrated at the middle and the end will be disastrous. Thank you.